in this video we will see the differential equation for deflection so here we have shown a very small part of the deflected beam and let us call that particular small part as ab which is having a very small length of ds now as you can see suppose we take two points a and b so this ab is of very small length so this curved element is as good as a straight line so that will get a right angle triangle also over here so small elementary horizontal length is dx and small vertical distance is dy so that tan psi will be equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side that is dy by dx similarly the arc length is equal to r multiplied by very small angle now from point A, we will draw a tangent which is making an angle of psi and at point B, we will draw an, a tangent which is making an angle of psi plus d psi. So the angle made by this tangent B is greater than this that of A by an amount of d psi which is very again small angle and this is the included angle. Now extend this, draw up, draw a perpendicular through this A and draw a perpendicular to the tangent through this point B they will intersect at point C which is known as the center of this particular arc or radius of curvature of this particular arc so you can see ds is the length of the beam element that is AB size the angle angle tangent to A with respect to horizontal psi plus d psi is the angle tangent to b with respect to horizontal r is the radius of the bent curve so this is the radius of the bent curve cb or ca or ac and c is the center of this arc so if this is the deflection of the beam and small elementary part that we have taken then what will be the deflection differential equation for this deflection of the beam that we have to derive so these terms already we have seen so let us move further we know that angle ACB is equal to D psi. Now DS is equal to R into D theta. This is the basic equation. So DS will be equal to in our case R is the radius and the angle theta is nothing but D psi in our case. So we know the basic relation that is S is equal to R theta. So in place of S we are having DS. So R will be equal to ds transfer this d psi on this side so it is ds upon d psi take a reciprocal on both the sides so 1 upon r will be equal to d psi upon ds call this as equation 1 tan psi already we have seen that it is opposite side divided by adjacent side that is dy by dx so cos psi will be equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse so that is dx upon ds now take a reciprocal on both the sides so reciprocal of cos is sec and the reciprocal of dx upon ds is ds upon dx from equation 2 we are having tan psi is equal to dy by dx so differentiate with respect to x so we can say that derivative of d by dx of tan psi will be equal to derivative of dy by dx so d psi by ds can be written as d psi by ds into ds by dx now we can substitute the value of ds by dx over here which we have already seen so that value is nothing but sec psi now this sec square into sec that is sec cube and right hand side as it is so sec cube psi d psi by dx will be equal to d2y by dx square. Now value of d psi by dx is 1 upon r that also we have seen. So therefore 1 upon r will be equal to d2y by dx square divided by this sec cube psi because this is multiplication is in multiplication over here on this side it will go in the division. Now this sec cube psi can be written as sec square and raised to 3 by 2. So numerator as it is in the denominator this is sec square psi. We have to maintain sec cube so we will take raised to 
3 by 2 so that this 2 2 will get cancelled again we will get sec cube sec now sec square is 1 plus tan square so therefore substitute the value and we know that so in place of sec square it is 1 plus tan square and we know that tan is nothing but dy by dx so in place of this tan square y we can substitute dy by dx that is nothing but slope and square of that now this slope dy by dx is very small and therefore square of it will also be very very small so we can neglect that particular term so that ultimately will be left with only 1 upon r d2y by dx square divided by 1 raised to 3 by 2 that is 1 so we have written only the numerator part of the equation now m upon i is equal to e upon r transfer this e on this side so m upon e i is 1 upon r and this 1 upon r is nothing but just now we have derived it is d2y by dx square so m will be equal to e i cross multiply by this e i term to this d2y by dx square so this is the differential equation second order differential equation for the deflection of the beam